Hey, Radiance here. Let's make an animated countdown component with React. You can find both the source code and the demo in the description. The component takes two properties. And add is a timestamp for where the countdown should end, and precision could be one of four units days, hours, minutes, and seconds. By default, we'll show all four units. To force a render every second, we use the use rhythmic render function. It has an interval in the use effect hook, updating the state with the current time step every period. Based on the precision parameter, we create a list of units to display. Then we take this list with the duration in milliseconds and pass it to the format duration function that returns a record of units names with a number that we can take and display to the user. To construct this object, we go over every unit, take milliseconds and convert it to a number for display. In the end, we subtract that amount from the milliseconds left. Once we have all the numbers for the countdown, we iterate over units and display its part. Here we have a container with centered content where we have animated numbers. To achieve this sliding effect, we need to know the previous value. And here where the hook comes in handy. We render every digit separately to animate only a changed part. Since sliding character is an absolutely positioned element, we also display a digit that is not visible to the user to allocate space. Keyframes won't animate anything for no reason, so we need to trigger them by forcing a change. To achieve that, we can define a dumb variable that will change every time there is a need to animate a slicing character. We always render both the previous and the current digits, but the previous one won't be visible on the animation finish. That's all, stay productive.